Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Sims 4 Random Pets Laboratory Challenge! Where we are here on a very exciting day because so many of our fantastic adventures are actually taking off today, friends. As you guys know, last year we had an amazing time with all of our wonderful sled dogs in Red Lantern. And today Red Lantern is actually releasing on Steam and it's having a big update where you can actually go racing with your dogs in a wintry wonderland setup to celebrate the festive season and there's going to be a quality of life update where you have life at the cabin so you can adopt all of the dogs and you can play with them and train them at the cabin which i am so excited about so it's going to be a fun festive return to red lantern as soon as the update drops hopefully we'll be able to get an episode out today but because we are working on red lantern and because there's also another amazing bit of news for some more DLC coming out for Planet Zoo that's going to have a European Lynx. Well, I had to combine those two really exciting events. I need to like make a little video, hopefully I've done it by now, telling you guys all about the cool update that's coming up for Planet Zoo next week already. What the heck? Suddenly we have so many fantastic ways to celebrate in the snow. And of course that meant that I got very excited and I wanted to combine the two amazing series in one of the most unique way possible. Or unique ways possible, there we go. By going ahead and having some cute is creature crossbreeds so my friends we are back with the beautiful lynx and this time we have Haley the lynx who is slinking through the frosted forest of a beautiful snowy wilderness up in the far north and Haley is actually going to go and meet with none other than Storm, a gorgeous cinnamon red Siberian Husky with two colored eyes. We could probably have all sorts of discussions about the uniqueness of those kinds of genes, but my friends, these two are going to meet under a beautiful starlit night here in this pine forest, and they are going to make the magic of our crossbreed challenge here in the laboratory happen. It's been a while since we've tried to have a story with these guys instead of going ahead and just working in the lab, but I feel like a field trip is perfect for today. So a field trip it is! Here we are with our husky Storm. Normally in the past he has been on many dog sled races, but since then his his racer has retired and they have just been spending time at the cabin, living there summer and winter and slowly but surely carving out a small life. The, you know, the racer that he has, I'm very distracted writing their own book right now. It's made Storm extremely bored and he's been spending more and more time wandering in the forest behind their cabin. And there, on a very starlit, beautiful night as the snow twinkles and comes down from the sky, Haley happens to be roaming soundlessly across those snowbanks, and she's gonna go ahead and meet Storm. And we're gonna say there's a little bit of that laboratory magic in the air, so that then a few months later, when Haley is curled up in her den, she is going to be welcoming not some pure blooded lynx, but we're actually gonna have some lynx and husky crossbreeds. Woo! All right, let's do this. Haley, my dear, let's go ahead and see what the first of our crossbreed creations is going to be. Oh, I love the spots. I'm such a sucker for the spots, and I'm so excited that we're actually going to have Follow Deer, which are a beautiful spotted variant of deer that you can find in Europe, appearing in the new European pack for Planet Zoo. That's going to be so exciting. All right, but oh, look, we have one who looks just like their mom. All right, but are you going to be extra fluffy like your dad? We're going to have to see. And this is actually going to be tea from Sipping Tea. And as usual, you guys, if you want to become one of these curious crossbreed creations, all you need to do is go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section, and I will roll the random generator, and it just might pick your comment, which would be awesome. And tea, sipping tea, thank you so much. Yes, I do have a soft spot for basically every animal. And I love the suggestion of a African painted dog, which we have not done enough mixes with. I'm writing it down right now. And a panda. Like what? That would be really fun. Also an otter and a Siamese cat would be a lot of fun too. I love that. Fox and Jackal. Ooh, Coyote and Night Fury. You have some great suggestions. Thank you, Sipping Tea. 
And welcome, welcome. Is this your first time being a crossbreed? Because you, my friend, are going to be a playful yet aggressive, very active little lynx husky. Hmm. Lusky? Lucky? Oh, I guess we could call them luckies. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so you're going to be our first lucky crossbreed. Welcome, welcome. However, Haley is not done with her litter just yet. So let's go. And now we are going to have... Oh, one who actually looks like their dad. Look at this with two colored eyes too. So this is actually going to be Buddy. And Buddy the puppy cat. Oh my goodness. You have so many cool suggestions. A reindeer and a saber toothed tiger. Oh man, a maned wolf and a reindeer would be really fun. A dragon and a lynx. Ooh, maybe we'll have to go ahead and have our lynx bump into a cool dragon pretty soon. Gosh, you guys, I love how curious you are and I love all of the suggestions that you have. And Buddy, I hope that you are very happy to have turned out to be such a cute little puppy cat. This is so adorable. All right, so let's see. You're going to be loyal, so I think you have a lot more of those husky traits in there. Jumpy and vocal. So welcome, welcome, little one. However, Haley still has more to add to it. And hopefully the forest are filling up with all of the hares that lynx are famous for eating. At least, like, they're famous, and bobcats are famous for eating that in, like, North America. I don't know about the European lynx. I actually am going to have to learn what its main source of food is for sure. And then Alina! Alina, welcome! And Alina, your neighbors have a white gold, uh, a yellow white gold cocker spaniel named cooper <gasps> that sounds so cute i have such a soft spot for cocker spaniels oh alina welcome welcome you have two very mystical colored eyes i wonder if you're maybe one of the ones we should see about a future with dragons and you can't give milk my dear despite how mystical you are however you are going to be a hairy independent active little puppy cat <laughs> a lucky <laughs> A husky puppy, a husky lynx. I love it. The luckies. Uh, but welcome, Alina. I think your eyes are really enchanting your mother, Haley, but she does have matters to attend to with a. Alright, wait for it, wait for it. Dun 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 dun. Ooh, another one who looks just like Haley. And this is going to be Miko. Miko, welcome. You, my friend, are going to be a hairy friendly hunter so that's really good to know that we're going to have some good hunting skills going on for our animals and you suggest a red panda and a bunny all right that would be really cool i need to see if i can find a good red panda on a dog base well we do have a few good bunny bases that are based on dogs so i should be able to do that mm, roger i'm on it good job miko i actually think that would be really cute gosh maybe that'll be the next mix we do all right and then we're not done quite yet Mix is popping in. <gasps> I wish we could keep those eyes. What the heck? Those are beautiful eyes. Wow. That just goes to show that we definitely should be thinking about some future Lynx mixes. However, we are making some luckies. Oh, you're really cute too. Look at this little face. Oh my gosh. This is actually going to be Sebastian. Sebastian, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad that you enjoy all of the mixes and how fun. Okay, you can't produce wool. However, you can be an aggressive troublemaker who's independent. All right, so you definitely have more of the wild personality versus like the tamed personality from the husky side. But Sebastian, you love lynxes. How lucky for you to become one of our lucky lynx mixes. And you suggest a saber tooth and a husky. Okay, that's really cool. Oh my gosh. So let me write that down really quickly. If I didn't write these down, like, I don't know if I'd ever find them again because there's so many cool suggestions. And then the Silothene and a Greyhound. Now that is an extinct species of animal. Unfortunately, extinct so recently, we do have photos of the very last ones. And then Tasmanian Devil and a Chihuahua, what? Guys, can you imagine how hilarious a Tasmanian Devil and a Chihuahua would be? All right, that's on the list too. All right, all right. Those are fantastic. I really love those suggestions. Sebastian, you clearly have quite the adventurous spirit in you. Hopefully it will carry you across the snowy like wonderland and into some fun adventures in your life. 
Haley is quite tired, but she's very pleased as her litter is almost complete. We have got. All right, who's it gonna be? Oh wow! I did not expect this coloring. This time, this is going to be Ryan. Ryan, welcome. We had mostly boys this time. That's so interesting to me. All right, Ryan, welcome, welcome. You definitely have such a cute, like white nose. You look like you you're a husky that's been touched by snow. All right, let me add in your name. And you are going to be a sleuth who is a hunter and active. So even though you look a lot like a husky, I think you want to live out the wild life. And with your beautiful, very like fantasy touched eyes, well, maybe you set off with your sibling, Sebastian, on a big adventure. And you suggest a lynx and a moose, a lemur and dragons, unicorn and lynx, unicorn and lemur, bear and wolf, Golden Retriever and a Lion, Jaguar and a Lion. Oh my gosh, you've got so many cool suggestions. I will definitely write a few of them down. Thank you very much, Ryan. But all right, as Haley begins to teach all of her little kits how to go ahead and explore the forest, they're going to grow up and we're going to see what kind of traits they're going to inherit when you combine a Lynx, a beautiful European Lynx, with Storm the Husky. You guys ready for this? Let's do it. T, you're up first. And <laughs> okay, that muzzle actually looks really cool. I really like the way the muzzle pulls on the spots around the eyes and the face. I did not expect that to look so awesome. All right, more of a dog body type with a lynx coloring, but you wouldn't really know like at first glance. T, I like it. I really love that muzzle. It gives like an air of elegance to the lynx that you don't quite have with the like shorter like wider muzzle all right and then we have a buddy who looks more like a husky but oh, look at those ears look at that nose oh my goodness i love that white nose that's so cute buddy look at you i love the color of those eyes too and buddy is actually very loyal so probably could go ahead and with a short little tail oh my gosh should probably go ahead and find a happy home with some of the humans who are out there. And look, they actually have a much shorter snout. Oh, buddy, you're so adorable. Oh my gosh, that's actually like a really cute dog. So hopefully he'll find a good human family to go and live with. Meanwhile, Alina. Oh, Alina. Yeah, Alina just has a bit of fantasy touched eyes and a bit of a, a bark that matches dogs. But otherwise, she looks perfectly ready to slip into the forest and a slightly different muzzle from her mother, but not terribly much. And she's ready to go ahead and go on some adventures herself. And then we have Miko, who has normal colored eyes. All right, Miko. Yeah, Miko just grew up to be a big, strong lynx. Look at that. Oh, it's so fun to have some spotty babies because last time we really didn't with our lynx mix. Sebastian, you're up next with your like aggressive, troublemaking, independent personality. Probably not gonna go live with the humans. Oh, but look at you. You almost look like a fox with that beautiful coloration. <gasps> However, even though, look at the sweet, sweet, sweet eyes on Sebastian. Don't be fooled. He's actually quite aggressive. Don't, don't get too close. Oh my gosh, I would totally think this was just like nothing but the sweetest little honey like pot of a dog and totally it isn't. You're gonna like get yourself nipped to pieces. Wow, you're so pretty Sebastian, what the heck? And then finally we have Ryan! <laughs> and Ryan, you do look like you have a little bit more of the wild look about you. So you look like you're ready to go ahead and maybe you do some adventuring with your brother off into the wilderness. Oh, I love those white noses. And those are definitely some lynx ears that he's got too. Ah, uh, that was fun. All right, guys. I think that that definitely was a very interesting time for Haley, but she managed to have her a wonderful little litter. And we have quite a few unique looking creatures, our luckies running about. If you guys could do please leave a like for our wonderful husky lynx mixes and leave your comments with all sorts of crossbreeds that you guys would like to see in the future. But most importantly, stay curious.